A unique feature about Scotch whisky is that it uses peat as a flavourant uh, within its manufacturing process. Uh, peat, uh, I have a lump of it here, is the uh, compressed vegetal remains of peat bogs which have built up over centuries. Uh, it takes thousands of years to form a peat bog and it's the part of the mosses and the grasses that form a peat bog that are waterlogged and are compressed over time form peat. There are at the moment about five peat bogs which are licensed for manufacture of uh, Scotch whisky, the most famous one being a uh, most obvious one being on Isla, going to the maltings on Isla to, to uh, make those very peated Isla malts. It's burnt by controlling the amount of oxygen that goes into the burning in kilns. Um, rather than making flames, it makes a lot of smoke. The smoke is then led up into the maltings and pulled through the uh, malting barley uh, by fans um, and the peat smoke uh, is then deposited on the grains of the, of the barley. Um, really peating is, is, is smoke is probably made up of about ooh, um, 500, 600 different uh, compounds and the whole process of peating is cutting down those compounds just into the flavour important ones that we appreciate in whisky. If we were just to have smoke coming through, it would be very acrid, it would be very smoky um, uh, and very unpleasant. So the process starts off during malting, where uh, smoke is drawn through the wet malt as it's formed. It adheres to the grains. Some of it disappears, disappears off uh, through the chimneys. We then take that uh, malt um, and put it into the uh, whisky manufacturing process. Uh, we know mashing, uh, distillation, etc. Um, and as we go through that process, more and more peat uh, compounds are lost. So we're just left with the flavour important ones, which end up via distillation in the final whisky. The more smoke you put in at the beginning, obviously the more peat that you have, um, uh, uh, peated flavour that you have at the end of it. And we tend to measure it um, in PPM of phenols. Um, phenols are just a, a chemical uh, class uh, of, uh, of, of compounds. Interestingly, phenol itself, which does appear in Scotch whisky, you, it's not at a concentration we can actually taste. Um, so even though we talk about the phenol level, we don't actually tasting phenol, but we're tasting the compounds which are related to that, to that. Um, and they could be quite complex. Um, the f by changing the balance of those uh, phenolic compounds, we can move from very acrid smoke, very uh, peat reek type of smoke, which is uh, favoured in some of the Isla malts, um, through to some of the more um, flavoursome uh, notes, uh, milder notes, which are more leathery almost, uh, giving that sort of finish which you see in some of uh, see, uh, like Highland Park, some of the, um, some of the uh, Speyside malts, all the things you're just using very small amounts of peat which just give you some of the base notes coming in, in behind. Lately um, some work uh, looking at peat from different regions has shown that there are differences in flavour from, uh, from peat from different peat bogs and the different peat bogs do give a slightly different fl flavour uh, to the whisky. Like all parts of the whisky making process, of course, no one flavour dominates. So the amount of difference that it makes is quite small. It's a subtle difference uh, that the peat bog makes, but it's part of the provenance of the whisky is where the peat uh, comes, comes from. There also has been uh, historical mixing, mixing of peat, for instance, uh, Orkney peat used to be imported into Inverness and from there it used to be used in uh, Speyside uh, malts and some of the island malts is also used in other island uh, uh, distilleries via um, the maltings on, on Isla. So there is some mixing of, of peats but it tends to be one uh, peat bog, one uh, peated type of, uh, type of, um, of malt. Distillers don't tend to specify where that, that comes from. Uh, it's down to the maltster to, cho uh, to choose that. They specify the amount of peating that, uh, that it comes from. Obviously, peat bogs are uh, protected environments, and there has been some argument about, about how much peat we're taking. And the amount of peat that we actually take, or the industry takes as a whole, is less 
than the amount that is formed uh, per year. A peat bog will form about a millimetre uh, per, per year um, and that's why it takes thousands of years for the, for the uh, peat bog to build up. But the amount that we take um, is less than that. that. So the peat bogs are actually building up in Scotland at the moment and the amount that uh, Scotch whisky takes as an industry is insignificant to that uh, amount that's uh, building up.